called offbeat looking. Then I went through a period, I went through a period where Cecil Beaton, Jerome Robbins and Richard Avedon called me beautiful and I was compared to Nefertiti and that kind of Egyptian classical beauty. So that was fun. But I mean, I think when you grew up, when you grow up, where you're not conventionally pretty, uh, there's always a part of you that still thinks that. How's your internal sense right now? I like myself, you know, mm -hmm. more than ever. And that's not egotistic, you know, it's like, it's funny when you say that, it's like, I hope people understand the difference of healthy self-love uh, versus an egotistical love, self-love, you know? Coming up, still more with a leading lady and her leading men, Jeff Bridges and Pierce Brosnan. And from here at the premiere party, proof positive this truly is the city that never sleeps. I'm Steve Kometko. A Barbara Streisand movie, by virtue of her mere presence alone, is always a big event. And for The Mirror Has Two Faces, there's a big event surrounding the big event, this star-studded post-premiere party. The entire movie was shot on location here in New York. Miss Streisand used the Monkey Bar, Central Park, and Bloomingdale's for atmosphere in the movie, along with Tavern on the Green right here, which also happens to be the party place to be tonight. I'm involved in this party deeply involved in this party and excited by it and it's 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 honoring the film so how much happier can you be what did you relate to the most in this particular movie it brought up so many questions and issues and yes it's it has a lot of important issues doesn't it it really does i guess for me i sort of like had a lot happen to me during this film i changed my life a lot because of it i said to myself you've come to an age where everything's supposed to be in order and you've made all the journeys you need to make but there's one you haven't and that's really mastering losing weight and being the best that you can be and just sort of you know one of the journeys that we take in life to get all our self-esteem together and this was one that I hadn't really done oh I'd done it off and on and off and on you know but, so I really just turned my life around and made a commitment as of June 11th and I lost this amazing amount of weight. I go to the gym every day. You look great. Day. You Thanks. look sensational. But it really changed my life and it made my life better in many ways in terms of confidence and self-esteem and knowing who you are. It's all part of the same, you know, vision of where you are and who you are and you feel bad, you feel good about yourself. You know, and it's like, I don't know. I've arrived, and the journey's been great. Can the moviegoers, you, you're in the film, so it's a little different from you, a little more intense for you, but can moviegoers expect a life-affirming, life-changing experience when they go to see this movie? I don't know all those people, and I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know each and every one of them and how blocked they are or how open they are, but I think that Barbara really elevates our senses about what's possible. I think movies about things that are possible are important, and I think she raises the standard She's illuminating, and that uh, she's a great teacher. And for me, it was sort of a step forward in my life. It's sort of like the old Helen Reddy song, you know, I am woman. But I am woman who knows herself and feels good about herself. And I really climbed this mountain, and I did great. And look who I am. And I just think that it's great to arrive in a place in life where you can have that for yourself. Good for you. Yeah. Befitting a star of her style and substance, Ms. Streisand has been linked with a substantive number of stylish men. From Don Johnson to hairdresser turned producer John Peters, to super jock Andre Agassi, to the father of her son Jason, Elliot Gould. Now, there's someone new in her life. I didn't meet the man in my life till we were editing the movie. So, you know, did I manifest him? Mm. <laughs> That's the question. Why did you decide to come forward? You're a, you are a private person. Come forward to with a degree. What? Why did, with, with your relationship with um, James Brown? We didn't, it, you know. Oh, I thought uh, it was... The Globe came out, I mean, again... Oh, you wanted to beat them a to the fellation. No, the, the Globe came out, after we had known each other for a month, we went to a party for the woman who introduced us. This was the first time we ever went into town. Came out of this restaurant and was photographed by someone in the, the Globe, which, who put this terrible picture in the paper, and then... And, and it was a silly story. They made up a story that we met that night, that I came in a limo, 
I think. I came in a limo but went home with him. Uh, how they get these details that I put my arm around, it was funny actually to read, you know, were they in the car with us? First of all, it's not true. We had, we had been living together already. So why isn't the truth enough? That's what fascinates me about these things. And then the mainstream press picks up this stuff from the junk from the tabloids, you know, which is really sick. Mm -hmm. Um, so we said, uh, no, he happened to be taking pictures with a wonderful photographer, his friend, Deborah Wald. We were going out and we took these beautiful pictures. She took them like in a half an hour and then figured why not, if you're going to write about us, you know, serve us a really nice picture instead of something that a globe photographer caught. And there are spies, you know, we took one walk on the, on the beach one time and they, somewhere, we, we, it was a day that was not even a weekend, there was no one on the beach. And somehow they get a picture. Where is this photographer hiding? It's fascinating. No idea. Barbara Streisand fans may have noticed that she used candles to heat up the love scenes in both A Star Is Born and The Prince of Tides. Well, she lights them up again in The Mirror Has Two Faces, this time with mixed results. Coming up, a visit with Jeff Bridges. He's played an alien, he's played a baker boy, but can he play celibate? Later, an exclusive clip from the film. Just how enchanting is this big budget romance? Stay tuned. When it came to casting Jeff Bridges, Barbara Streisand got some unexpected help. An important member of the Bridges family read the script and urged Jeff to jump aboard. Good advice. Who's this? This is Gregory Larkin. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a professor at the, uh, in the math department at uh, Columbia. As I started to explore this character, uh, more uh you know, more in depth i um i said yeah there, there is an aspect of myself in this guy you know a, a real uh a desire for order you know if only things were more orderly you know uh, I, I could have a much smoother kind of existence and it was a matter of kind of magnifying some of those feelings to get in touch with this fellow is it true your mother read the script and gave you the thumbs up on it? Yeah, that yes. could have been the death of it for me. Because I, <laughs> you know, I give my parents, often I give my parents a script, and uh, about, you know, 80, 90% of the time, I won't agree with the things that they like, and you know, they won't agree with the things that I like. So it could have been the kiss of death for this one. Fortunately, I, I dug it as well. Why did you want to do this? There's not a lot of movies out there like this right no, now. No, romantic yeah, comedy. That's true. That's, that's one, one reason. Uh, Another reason was a chance to work with Barbara. I'm a big fan of hers. Is she a perfectionist? Absolutely. God, is she a perfectionist. Is that Perfect a bad thing? It perfects the hell out of it. No, I think that's great. It really works for me because, uh, well, for one thing, I'm a, I'm a bit of a perfectionist myself. And I don't have to put my energy into that anymore. I mean, she's a person who can, you know, uh, tweak me under the table. I mean, she'll just, you know, get that damn thing exactly right you know uh and i have to say you know sometimes i'd say why are we doing this again you know and she had an idea good and at the end i'd look at the you know the video playback and i'd say damn it you were right it might be just maybe that much better but it's accumulation of those little corrections that make it make the whole better you know i was wondering if you know you felt <laughs> she brought out good things in you absolutely one of the concerns that i had going into it was how it was going to be uh, working opposite the director. I had never done that before. Never worked with a woman director, never worked with a, a director who was in the scenes with you. And I was concerned that, you know, they were going to be, I was going to be being directed while I was going to see in her eyes, you know, that she's watching me, not the character, in the, not being the character in the scene. And that wasn't the case. She was really able to, you know, just uh, be the character with me, you know, be in those, in those uh, moments with me. 
time. I, I go crazy. Really? Literally. Yeah. I know someone sexual. Uh -huh. I go out of my mind. No kidding. Oh, oh, oh. Jeff, tell me how you enjoyed the film tonight. Terrific. On the premiere. Great. Is it different seeing it in the premiere night rather than, you know, just going to a screening with a... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's always a lot of excitement in the air. And, uh, you know, you got the flashlights and it takes you about 15 minutes to land. How did...